Good morning, everybody. We got a zero day in progress here. I'm in Anago, came into town. I got a room here and uh, I got a zero day, but they're always kind of busy. You got a lot of stuff that you got to do. So I got laundry. I had to, I did it myself here in the sink with soap and hot water and stuff. Cause a laundromat I found out was like two miles down. I'm not gonna walk two miles there and two miles back just to wash that. So I did that myself, hung that up to dry. So when it comes to the laundry, there is one little important zero day tip that I'll share. If when you first get into a room like this, if you wash your socks and your underwear and stuff and uh, do that right away, so well, not right away maybe, but as soon as you can, you can get it hanging. In hotel rooms, they always got those little blowers and uh, you can get them hanging and drying so that by the morning you wake up and everything is dry and clean. Kind of sorting through some of my food. Got to pick up some chow, uh, tent, everything else is drying, stuff hanging all over. And uh, oh, I got, got permethrin, permethrin's good. I like to get stuff, uh, treat my clothes and stuff, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm gonna run to the grocery store. There's a legitimate grocery store there, pick and save. I'm gonna pick up some food for a few days. Ooh, zero days. Let's get these chores done and then relax. <laughs> Shopping at a grocery store can be rough sometimes when you're hungry and thirsty for this afternoon. <laughs> ah. All right. Let's step outside a second and let's talk permethrin. Permethrin. It's, uh, it's made by the Sawyer Company. Well, I guess it's a chemical, first of all, but uh, usually you can buy it in these black and yellow containers. Uh, there's squirt bottles, different, different containers, but it's made by the Sawyer Company. They're the same ones that make the, uh, the water filters that, uh, that a lot of folks use. And uh, what this stuff does, it's, it's like a bug spray. It's not that you put on your skin, though. It goes onto your clothes and onto your gear. And uh, not only does it repel like ticks and stuff, it actually, it kills them too. So it's, uh, it's poisonous to people too. I think when it's wet, so you're not ever supposed to spray it on yourself. Uh, there's a lot of little directions you can read, but uh, basically you just, you spray it onto your gear, you let it dry and then it's, it's good. It can't hurt you then. And it stays on the clothes for like up to six weeks. And, uh, where it was like six washings, six weeks or six washings. Um, hikers don't wash their clothes every week, that's for certain, but it stays on. So every month or so I like to hit my clothes with that and I go outside basically. I already hit my clothes this morning, so they're dried up now, but just give it a good shake and spray it onto your, your garments. Don't do it on your undergarments, however. Um, put it on my backpack, on my tent, um, all that stuff and uh, it really helps with the ticks. Okay, so here's some of the food that I bought. Uh, I'm gonna repackage it. Basically, I just open the boxes and put them into like a Ziploc bag, pretty much. And uh, this year I got a couple of meals. I think they got a freeze-dried one here. That was from Walmart. They're kind of expensive and not that good, but I don't know, I get one once in a while, a little variety. Couscous from the grocery store. I love this stuff. And uh, <laughs> it's tough to get at the gas station resupplies. So I got two, two dinners of that. I think I actually, I needed only three days of food before I'll get to the next town to get more. Um, and I, I actually have four dinners here. One, two, three. Got a ramen bomb. You got the soy sauce, loaded baked potatoes. Mm, good stuff. And uh, chickens for all of those. And just a bunch of bars, nuts, stuff like that. And uh, coffee, a couple Pop-Tarts. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then there's this. So, hiker hunger. I like to get as many calories as I can when I'm hiking. and uh, But that gets pretty heavy, so you're kind of reduced, kind of limited. When I come into town, oh, man. My favorite is like a, a, a bucket of berries, and uh, I got some of those. I already ate some blueberries. This is like 10 chicken drumsticks, good stuff, a loaf of bread, and uh, I don't even know how I'm still alive, but some of these zingers, I always like these Hostess and Little Debbie stuff. Get different ones every time, but... <clears throat> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you know what else I ate? There was a Taco John's right outside of the, by the hotel. So I had a couple of tacos there. Um, <laughs> and there's a McDonald's down the way. I might even go down there and get a couple of quarter pounders or something for dinner. That's a zero day. Pretty much you just try and get everything done as quick as you can and as efficiently as possible. I thought of one other thing I can add here. Um, before I started hiking, I had joined the Ice Age Trail Alliance and uh, it's not very expensive. I think it's like 50 bucks or something for the year. That money goes to helping out the trail and purchasing new land and all of this. I think the money goes to a good cause and it helps out. And you can go out and donate your time and uh, go out and help with the trails, um, blazing or clearing up debris. As the summer goes on, more and more of the downed trees that are all blocking the trail now, uh, people volunteer. They got a chainsaw, they can go out there and cut those up. And um, it's all just people like you and me that, that love to be out there and love to help out. So I would encourage everybody that's watching this to, uh, to go look it up. And uh, you don't necessarily need to join. If you just want to help out, that's great. Either way, the more people that, uh, that, that look into this and decide that they want to help out a little bit, the more and more it improves this trail. And uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful trail and it's a, it's, a, it's a noble goal to have and to work for. Get this thing all through the state. This uninterrupted trail and wildlands would be fantastic. So help out if you have an inclination to do so. It's really easy. You can just look it up online and uh, there's a lot of people there they can help you get started that's the ice age trail alliance um, i think like the home base is located in cross plains wisconsin i have yet to get there but each of the different counties and chapters uh, it's kind of broke down into little groups regional groups so no matter where you live in the state there's a way that you can help out please do so anigo man i love this town i love it uh, good food friendly people and oh, every chair has a bag <laughs> Happy hiking, everybody. Uh, until the next video, I'll be hitting the trail tomorrow, uh, heading out of here. I think it's like 10 or 11 miles walk out of Anago down to the Plover River segment. And uh, there I'll pick up the trail back on the blue lines, back on the, uh, on the wild trail. I'm excited. I'm heading south now, um, down towards Janesville, I guess, ultimately. It's been great adventure so far, and I'm really looking forward to the to the rest of it so that's that i'm done <laughs> happy hiking everybody see y'all later